guys, long time no haul, so I have a bit of a doozy for you. Um, uh, I have a few orders I placed from Ulta back in January, so I'm going to go through those. Uh, I have sort of all my, uh, here I'll just go ahead and show you, uh, I like write down everything I bought in each month, and I haven't filmed one of these in so long. Uh, I have, you know, things going back to the Sephora VIB sale, and, I, and I've held on to boxes and stuff, but... At a certain point, it gets a bit ridiculous, but I still had all of this kind of set aside, so I wanted to uh, show it to you guys. Okay, so back in January, if you remember, they had their uh, skincare event. Uh, so I picked up a few things. Uh, I picked up the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream. Uh, this was a repurchase, and uh, just to show you, uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's supposed to... I guess kind of be an overnight mask uh, sort of thing, but it's just a really thick cream. And I'll even use this during the day as a moisturizer if I'm feeling a bit more dry and dehydrated. So, rubs in pretty well. And I also purchased the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, which was also a repurchase. And uh, I've actually finished that one up, so uh, I figured I'd just kind of do like a part empties video while I'm doing this. Uh, this, uh, I don't know which one was the most recent, but it has a very, it's a gel consistency, comes in an airless pump, and this is one ounce. So... I've gone through one, two, three, four, four of these since I last filmed a, I guess, skincare empties. And prior to that, I actually had uh, the Dual Repair Power Serum, which uh, kind of similar concept. I don't know exactly what the difference was or why they reformulated, but uh, it's supposed to strengthen the skin barrier. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so anyway, they discontinued that line. And then this is the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream, which I finished. So, uh, those are my first aid beauty empties. And then I think with that purchase, I got a gift with purchase. Uh, there was this little, they call it a four piece because of the bag, but whatever. Uh, and this came with little travel sizes of the Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream, which is what I purchased. Uh, the 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask, which I've never used. And the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, which I also purchased. So uh, I thought that was a nice kind of addition. I'm currently out of the serum, so... I'm kind of on the fence about whether to repurchase or uh, try something else. I just finished it and I don't recall if I used, if I opened that one soon after I got it. I have a feeling I did. Uh, in which case that would be about every March. About four months, three or four months maybe. Alright, so I had that. So I also purchased some of the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadows, and uh, I think I purchased two of these from Ulta and two of them from uh, CVS, uh, but one of these, I took the um, wrapper off, uh, 705 is Creme Brulee, which is this shade right here. Uh, so this is a nice base um, cream eyeshadow. It got a lot of good reviews. It comes with a little brush in the cap, um, which I guess if you're desperate it would be nice, but um, and then this one is 710. I don't know if I had the label at one point it's it's disappeared, but 710 and then 730 is the shade um, praline or praline and 750 also don't have the label for this one but anyway I got four of those and I've only really used one 
so far, but it's a nice creamy base. I usually put a shadow on top of it, so uh, that's how I use it. And then they had a really nice uh, gift with purchase. Uh, I found out about this through Nouveau uh, Cheap. She's a beauty blogger and has an Instagram, and uh, she usually has a lot of good tips and um, so forth for things like this. But this was the bag. Uh, I guess it was something that a, I think it's a blogger, YouTuber called Sonia Gasparin. Uh, she wasn't someone I was familiar with, but anyway, I think this was free with a, uh, no, I, I don't know what the, the minimum purchase was for this, but it came with a lot of really great stuff. So, uh, there is a, uh, philosophy purity which doesn't really work for me. It's a little bit too drying, but it's a one fluid ounce size. There is a Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick in the shade Almond Nude. That looks to be full size. There is a It Cosmetic CC Cream in Medium, which is not my shade, but that's okay. A uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. A Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Misconduct. And I feel like I got one of these... Uh, I think that's what this is. Doesn't have any sort of shade. I feel like this was in a Sephora Playbox, maybe. Although it doesn't look the same at all. Maybe this was full size. Uh, this would be... Uh, 4 mil or 0.13 fluid ounce. That's a nice berry color. And there is the triple sec dry shampoo from uh, Dry Bar. A pair of lashes from Ardell. These are the Studio FX Pro Design Layered Lashes 110. A Tarte Blush, which is really impressive for a gift with purchase. This is in the shade Seduce. I don't care for their plastic packaging. It's kind of hard to get into. Also, it doesn't seem like it's the most environmentally friendly. If Tarte's supposed to be like a natural brand and all. I get that you can see the, the shade of the blush through the uh, packaging, but uh, that is the shade there. And um, if you don't know, there's a little hole where you can push a pin through and the palette will pop out. So, uh, for example, I have, um, let's see, yeah, these are my um, most commonly used Tarte blushes, which I don't actually, I haven't grabbed for in a while. Um, but anyway, that's where they are. And there's the airbrush, uh, I guess it's just the brush, little travel it cosmetics brush, a little size of the Garnier Micellar Water, uh, that is 3.4 fluid ounce or 100 mil, I think this is travel TSA approved. Uh, I've heard mixed things about the ingredients in this, so I don't know, don't know how I feel about it, but I'll have to look into that more. I they might have reformulated for all I know, but nice little travel container. And then last but not least is a uh, bronzer um, from Rimmel. So that's, you know, for what I bought, I bought like two of the Revlon uh, color stay and two skincare products that, you know, I was running out of and I needed anyway. So uh, really good value. And that's one of my favorite things about shopping at Ulta is that they just, I feel like you get more for your money sometimes, like they have really great gifts with purchase like this. Not that Sephora doesn't, but they're just a little bit more, I guess, few and far between. Like right now there's one on their website, which I think is free with a $75 purchase. I haven't really looked into it to see what's in there. Um, I don't think it's as good as that one, but in any case. And then there also was a free... 27 piece uh, skincare bag gift with purchase. So I was able to, I guess, stack those, which was really great. Uh, so that was three gifts with purchase in this one order. I purchased the sleeping cream, the serum, Revlon Color Stay, 
I think everything else was a gift with purchase. I think I paid like $85.99 for all of this. Um, but anyway, it was a good deal. Uh, and then of course there's also like a fragrance gift with purchase. I usually get fragrance uh, because I don't know. It just seems like a higher value and I might get something I like as opposed to like skincare or is it random as the other option? I don't actually know if this is the one that came with it. Uh, but this has Prada Candy Kiss and Chloe Fleur, which I do like. Okay, so the skincare. Uh, it came with a um, three ounce, and I, I will say, I think it just came in like a plastic bag and something in there had leaked, which I like threw away some of the stuff that came in it because it was just covered. Um, but it came with a three ounce size of the deep cleansing wash from Proactive. This is uh, salicylic acid acne treatment. And um, this isn't something I would use, but my husband, um, I've given it to him, so I <laughs> briefly reclaimed it. But anyway, that's um, something he can use. Uh, there was the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Uh, I had a deluxe sample of this that I tried. I wasn't like crazy blown away by it. I would rather use, I guess, the First Aid Beauty products um, instead of this. But anyway, uh, Strivectin Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. See if I can open this. Maybe not. Uh, this is a quarter of an ounce. I feel like I've gotten this before, and I guess at my age, I'm just not terribly interested in neck creams. So maybe I'll give that to my mom. Uh, let's see. I have the uh, Murad Eye Lift Firming Treatment. Uh, this has eight eye pads. So it looks like it has this little like treatment that you put on these, I guess they're cotton, whatever, pads and you put them under your eyes, just like a targeted um, treatment, so that could be good. The, what is this, Dermalogica uh, Daily Super Foliant. This is Resurfacing alpha hydroxy acids, anti pollution with charcoal, and age protection with niacinamide and red algae. So it looks like it's a powder, and you just you moisten it in your hands to create a paste. So um, I'm a little nervous about this. Might be too intense for me, is what I'm trying to say. All right, there was a. Two fluid ounce size, travel size of the Mario Badescu facial spray. Uh, I have the full size of this. I haven't yet. Um, let's see how it sprays. Yeah. Um, I haven't started using it yet. I have another one in the fridge that I'm currently using, uh, just when I need like a pick me up or whatever. Uh, the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. No idea what this does. So it looks like it's just some sort of serum, maybe. Uh, it says empower, replenish, renew, fortify. Okay, so this is a quarter of an ounce, little pump there. The Origins Modern Friction, Nature's uh, Gentle Dermabrasion, this is half an ounce. Uh, the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer, I've gotten a lot of samples of this in the past. It's, it's fine, I'm not you know in love with it. Uh, the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream. This is a sunscreen. Uh, it looks like it is mineral only. Uh, it says zinc oxide 20%. Might give that a shot. Uh, I don't use chemical sunscreens because they tend to irritate me. I think there's some ingredients I can tolerate, but I think avobenzone tends to be one of the most popular, and I try to stay away from that. Uh, but this is 5 mil. Uh, the It's Potent uh, Benefit Eye Cream. I've used this before, so this would be a good like little travel size for me. Oops, unless I drop it. <laughs> so cute little jar, Benefit. 
uh, there is a Dr. Brandt 3D volumizing mask. Don't really know what that's supposed to do. That's about a third of an ounce. And then the rest of these are mostly like sachets. So uh, the Jack Black Face Buff Energizing Scrub. Okay. Uh, let's see. The Ahava Supercharged Minerals. It's super or Dead Sea Concentrate, maybe. Um, the Paracone MD Refirm Surface Recovery Treatment. Uh, there is a Patchology um, Five Minute Hydrogels Eye Patches, which I don't really count as like a sachet because you know you pretty much get that as the full size anyway. Uh, new Face Prepping Glow. Oh, it's a dual sided cloth. Removes makeup and impurities. Provides gentle exfoliation enriched with hyaluronic acid antioxidants. That could be a good thing to like throw in a bag or something. The Derma Doctor Intensive Vitamin C Peel Pad with Ferulic Acid and Vitamin E. Again, I don't mind so much when I get these in their pads. If they're just like creams or something, I'm not. I'm not as crazy about using them for whatever reason. Uh, the Clarins Body Lift Cellulite Control. Uh, Elizabeth Arden uh, Super Start Skin Renewal Booster. Uh, these are nice. These are on the go cleansing makeup remover facial towelettes from Ulta. These are, they say safe for sensitive skin. There's five in here. Um, I I don't really use these to remove makeup, but um, the skinnier ones are kind of nice to throw in a purse or something, like if you know you're going to Sephora and you're going to have swatches all up your arm. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have those. Uh, the Shiseido uh, Eye Ultimune Eye Concentrate. Uh, I got two of the Color Science Daily UV Protector SPF 30. I've used their uh, powder sunscreen before, but I don't think I've used, um, I assume this is a cream. Anyway, uh, but this is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar moisturizer. And last but not least, the Skin Iceland Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. Uh, so that was all one all to order, and like I said, I spent about $86 and I think I got well over my money's worth uh, with that. So I have two more Ulta orders. One I placed at the very end of uh, January and the other I placed at the very beginning of February. So I'm just going to talk about them together because uh, I basically got the same gift with purchase twice so I thought I might as well. Okay so uh, first thing I think Real Techniques was buy one get one half off. So I got the uh, Real Techniques Eye Detail and Define. And what's interesting about this is not the brushes. There's two pretty skinny brushes in here. I haven't heard anyone talk about this, which has kind of surprised me. But uh, basically, there is a. I can get it out. Um, there's two little brushes. Uh, there's an angled brush. Like so, which isn't as skinny as where'd it go? This is my all-time favorite angle brushes. Um, it's also, I think, one of the first, um, if not the first brush I ever purchased from Mac. Um, so you can kind of see the difference there. You can see how much thinner the Mac one is, um, which I like. Uh, this is the Mac. 208. Yeah, 208 if I didn't uh, mention that. Um, so anyway, a little angled brush. And then this really, really fine, skinny um, brush. And I think this is intended to be used with this. This is like a silicone um, liner guide. And it's a little bent. I don't know if it's supposed to be. If you can see that. Uh, I've tried the, uh, 
what is it, the Beauty Blender one. It didn't really work out for me. Um, I don't know if this one will be any better. This one has like cutouts where you hold it up. It's like a stencil that you fill in. The other one was just like a line. Um, so I'm, I'm curious. I might do a first impressions video on this. Um, I am I am liner challenged, so we'll see how that goes. And then I also got uh, this I haven't gotten into yet. Uh, I have my own, so this may be in a future giveaway, heads up. Uh, but this is the uh, brush cleansing palette, so it's like a little, um, it has a handle on the back, so you can put it on your hand or you can just put it on the counter. Comes with a couple samples of the brush cleansing gel. Um, so I use this when I clean my brushes, um, and I think it's great. So it has a little lip to it, so you can kind of contain the, the water and soap if you want to kind of do a few at once. Um, anyway, I just, I think it's a really great, useful tool. Um, there's been, you know, knockoffs. I think the uh, Sigma glove, or, you know, Sigma, I think, came out with it. People have said, you know, just use pot holders, like those silicone pot holders. Um, but for the prize, I think that one's really good. All right, I got two highlighters from NYX. Uh, this one is in Snow Rose, and that is what I'm wearing now. I don't know if it's showing up as anything spectacular. These are both supposed to be duochrome. Uh, and this one is in Twilight Tint. So because I'm so fair, I mean, highlighters aren't as striking on me as they are of um, people with more... Um, medium skin tones are. Uh, if you want to look at some reviews, I think Temptalia did swatches and reviews of these. Uh, and these were buy one, get one half off as well. So uh, for a drugstore highlighter, I, th I think they're, you know, decent. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, I also got an e.l.f. lip brush. And the reason why is because I like to use uh, Vaseline on my lips um, and I have this tin which is the the rosy lips so this is rose and almond oil um, with I guess petrolatum yeah it's pretty much all it is petrolatum rosa damascena flower oil prunus something olive oil and then aroma and like colors in a linalol I don't know what that is um, but especially at work or something I didn't want to like be sticking my hands in it all the time so uh, I don't know how much this was but uh, basically you pull it out and then when you push it in it you know the brush part comes out so um, pretty cheap little tool but I thought for this purpose it would be worth uh, picking up all right so I purchased some conditioners and uh, these were on sale and then I don't know if they were buy one get one half off or why I got two or whatever but um, this one is empty I actually pulled it out of my empties bin uh, this is the Wella or is it Vela Vela I think it's a German brand um, this is the enrich and it's for moisturizing conditioner for coarse hair 8.4 fluid ounce and I got this one, which is still full. Uh, this is Brilliance <laughs> Conditioner for Fine to Normal Colored Hair. So I do have colored hair. Uh, this is 8.4 fluid ounce. Um, I would say my hair is more, I guess, just normal. Like, I have a decent amount of it, but it's the texture of it is fine to medium. Uh... So I don't, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't love this. I didn't hate it. I used it all up. Uh, right now I am using the Hask Manoy conditioner, which is like six bucks um, for roughly the same size, and I think I prefer that. Uh, smells like coconut, if that's um, something you're into. So um, they were fine. I probably wouldn't rush out to repurchase. And then also got um, two of the Sea Booth um, body washes. Uh, this one is empty. I think I showed this in my last empties video as well. Uh, a different one. Uh, this is the... That's in French. Um, I think. <laughs> the Honey Almond Nourishing Bath and Body Wash. 
16 fluid ounce, um, pretty affordable, under 10 bucks. Um, it's one of those things like it's just okay. Like I buy it because it's affordable and it's not, um, it's sulfate free, cruelty free, paraben free. Um, so for it's a good like cost effective option. And then um, this one is the Clean Vanilla Bean, um, which is currently in the shower, so it's a bit wet. It has a nice vanilla fragrance. I think I actually prefer the fragrance on this one to the other one. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, like, I'll pick it up to kind of pad my order if I need to get to a certain point. Uh, so I got two of the... Where do they go? Uh, these are the Maybelline singles that everyone was talking about this was in the glow down and this is a nude glow and i've seen uh christina brawley talk about one of these as like a really great highlighter i think she saw someone else use it they're still kind of sealed so i can't swatch them for you but uh and i think i also saw uh, miss lola lynn talk about one of these shades i can't remember which so um haven't started using them but i think these were buy one get one so and Maybelline of course is affordable as it is so anyway uh, I got the Morgan Taylor four piece um, set of minis from the Beauty and the Beast collection I can't remember if I've ever had Morgan Taylor polishes before um, I wasn't I think I tried this pots of tea maybe I, I tried this one as well I can't remember this one to me was not springy enough not really what I was going for um, they have this enchanted patina shade which is kind of interesting it basically can transform uh, those other shades to make them a little bit more like opalous op opalescent yeah uh, so anyway so I was, I was kind of glad to pick it up as like a collector's item I think the Essie gel couture um, has been my favorite uh, nail polish formula or whatever of the spring so far so uh i would probably recommend checking the se ones out before you purchase um the morgan taylor although if you're into beating the beast and you like the collector's aspect of it then by all means go for it so i got a beauty break and if you're not aware um sephora sephora uh ulta does these from time to time where like for a four hour five hour period during the day if you purchase uh, usually it's around 50 or $60 and you have to get $50 for free shipping anyway. Uh, they'll have like little gifts with purchase um, that they'll send. So um, this one was Ralph Lauren and also comes in the cute Open Me bag. Um, so this one had three minis and if you think about it, like a mini this size will typically go for like 250 points on uh, Sephora's website. Sometimes they'll be included in gifts with purchase, but that's kind of rare. Um, so there is Midnight Romance. So cute little miniature bottle like that. These are seven mil each, I think. Yeah. So Midnight Romance, uh, Tender Romance, and just the traditional romance. Um, I had this fragrance years ago. Um, doesn't have the notes or anything on it. It's not something I've worn lately, but I'm just a sucker for these mini bottles. I just think they're cute. Anyway, so that three-piece uh, beauty break, oh, I think I, I made a note. It was a $60 spend, so there you go. Okay, so I got two items from CeraVe, and uh, they were buy one, get one free. So uh, I got the hydrating cleanser for uh, normal to dry skin and uh, it's supposed to be non-drying, non-irritating with ceramides and hyaluronic acid 12 fluid ounce and I bought this because I have been using uh, Cetaphil which is you know kind of everywhere uh, and this one is not empty but I put it in my empties um, I had put it in this pump uh, because uh, Carolyn Hirons basically said, Caroline, I can't ever get her name right. Uh, she basically said it was, you're basically doing bad things to your skin by using it. It's not just like, it's not the most effective or it doesn't have the most 
uh, beneficial ingredients for your skin it's actually harmful so I was like okay well Carolyn's word is gospel to me um, and she said this was a good uh, drugstore alternative I haven't gotten into this yet because I've been using up uh, an Acure uh, face wash that I'm trying to get through so uh, anyway this is you know next on deck I guess and then I also got the eye cream and the box got kind of uh, mangled uh, I have been using this I just I kept the box and put it back in just for filming purposes but uh, this is half an ounce and uh, I like it a lot it has I mean it's kind of a thicker texture but it really kind of melts into the skin really nicely uh, I have the the Paula's Choice one uh, I've basically used it up uh, but that one like you really have to work to uh, get it into your skin so uh, I like this one a lot more all right another fragrance sample I'm assuming from one of these orders this looks like it has Viva La Juicy Noir and Escada Joyful so add that to the pile I got two real technique sponges like I said they were buy one get one uh, half off uh, I got the Miracle Finish Sponge, uh, it says for blush, I didn't really get it for blush, I just, I kind of like the color better than their orange one, so I thought I'd maybe give that a shot, and then uh, they have four little minis, so I don't think there's anything different in the, the material, I don't think, maybe there is. Uh, but anyway, these, these had some cute colors, and uh, again, they were buy one, get one, half off. I have some of the tiny uh, Beauty Blender ones, but they, you know, they're more of the egg shape. They don't have this kind of squared off edge. Uh, so I thought this would be interesting to try. Uh, and then uh, Tree Hut. I don't know if these were buy one, get one, half off as well. Uh, whenever I buy two of a brand, I'm always, in retrospect, wondering if that's why. But... Uh, this is the Renewing Hand Cream, uh, Moroccan Rose. Rose is one of my favorite um, fragrances, and I like, this is a little bit big to fit in my car, but I like the ones that have the, you know, the lid attached instead of having the like, screw off, um, just because they're easier to apply in the car. That's nice. It has a nice, like, fresh rose scent. Um, I tried the the body shop one uh the rose and to me it just smells like bug spray i don't know what it is but I'm, I'm not a fan of theirs but anyway uh glad i like that one and then i also got i think it came in this bag to help prevent it from leaking which is nice uh this is the shea sugar scrub in moroccan rose um also very nice and pleasant um yeah i think i tend to gravitate towards these a lot. Uh, usually I use them prior to shaving or just generally all over. So um, yeah, I'll add that to my, my stash. And then last but not least, I have two of these guys. Uh, I think these were free with a $60 purchase and they're supposed to be a $108 value. So uh, I guess that's just one general tip about Ulta. Like always look for Gifts with purchase, and you can usually stack them as long as you meet um, the requirements. Uh, so I'll just go through and show you. Uh, so this one has a Strivectin Advanced Retinol Intensive Night Moisturizer. That is a quarter of an ounce. Uh, the Gimme Brow in shade 3, which is probably too dark. Uh, the Ulta Hibiscus Punch uh, Shower and Bubble Bath. Oh, that is three ounce. The Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Uh, this Tarte Blush Card. <laughs> the Smashbox Oil Free Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, a NARS Bronzing Powder in Laguna. So very exciting that they are coming to Ulta, or are at Ulta, I guess. Uh, the Big Sexy Hair uh, Serum. This is the Strivectin Hair Shampoo, Conditioner, and Serum. Overnight Anti-Frizz Serum for frizz-prone hair. 
a coupon for any Ulta Beauty collection purchase of $15 or more. Uh, Philosophy Miracle Worker Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This one does have uh, Ava Benzone and stuff, so I won't be using that. Uh, there is a fragrance from Escada. Fiesta Carloca or something? I don't know where the paper is. Uh, Amazing Grace from Philosophy. It's a nice fragrance. Uh, uplifting Scent. Oh, this is a hand cream from Ahava. Uh, the Becca Priming Filter. This has the first light and the backlight. Uh, I want to try this one. I think I said in my Sephora VIB sale wishlist anti-haul. Uh, I want to try this one, so I will be trying that. This one I'm kind of indifferent to. Uh, these nail decals. Murad Moisturizer. Cleansing Oil from Burt's Bees. The Sake Balm from Dry Bar Shampoo and Conditioner. And then this is probably what I was most excited about. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And this is... What size are you? I can't read it. Generally, these are about half the size of the full size. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I need a magnifying glass to read that tiny uh, so anyway really great mascara I recommend trying to get a sample of it or the travel size before getting the full size just because I think I think value wise the travel size tends to be good and then also you know you don't have to worry as much about it drying out or using it in you know six months or three months or whatever they say all right, so that was one, and then this one will probably be somewhat similar. Uh, let's see. Again, Tarte, It Cosmetics, Coupon, Strivectin. Uh, this is the Escada Fiesta, so I don't know if I just somehow got an extra sample of it. Again, the Strivectin hair, the nail strips, the Becca. This is Gimme Brow in shade 5, more Sake Bomb, Hava, Amazing Grace, Murad, Origins, uh, NARS, Philosophy, Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil, the Hibiscus Punch, the Smashbox, and the Big Sexy Hair. So mostly the same, I guess the fragrance, or maybe I was supposed to get the Escada fragrance, I didn't get the card in that one. But anyway. Uh, that is my Ulta haul for the month of January. I guess that was like three orders. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoy that. Uh, this was kind of the bulk of what was sitting on my living room floor. So I'm glad to film it and get it out of the way. And um, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.